We sail from Sicily to Malta, visit the beautiful city of Valletta, only for a short visit on this occasion, and repair our furler, which has been getting stuck for the last Birds few weeks. Packed, are you ready to go? This is Cordelia, our Venus Ketch. This, this is Steve. Tomorrow we'll be on the road. I'm Annette, and this is the cutest I member of our crew, Gus. Our dream was 10 years in the planning. In the end, you only ever regret the chances you didn't take. Sunrise. Although we can't, I think it's still a little bit earlier for sunrise, isn't it? About seven. Syracuse for the fourth time, uh, once last year, twice earlier on this year, and now today. We're on our way to Valletta, Malta, um, where we'll spend a few days. Winds are good They're with us, uh, southerly winds, so that's good. That should take us all the way to Portofallo and then Valletta. It's going to be uh, about a five hour trip to Porto Paolo, about 26 miles, and then overnight in Porto Paolo and on to uh, Valletta tomorrow. Most probably leave early because that's at kind of 80 odd miles. <laughs> Deep they are, you can see. Yeah, you don't realise, do you? Nothing better than when. The engine's off and all the sails are up. So we've got the staysail up, head sail, the main and the mizzen. It's not that windy. But we're doing five knots, so... Shouldn't complain. Let's see that little hop 
to get more junk than he did. He thinks he's 20. It's the 14th of September today and Steve asked me out 42 years ago today. Child, bless you. Oh, bless you, dear child, bless you. Feels like we're going faster than we are. We're only doing um, kind of 4.95 knots. city of Valletta is the capital of Malta. Established in 1500s on the peninsula by the Knights of St John, a Roman Catholic order, it's known for its museums, palaces and grand churches. Baroque landmarks include St John's Cathedral, whose opulent interior, and I don't think I will say that because I didn't actually go in and see it, so I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Goodbye. On approach to Valletta from the sea, you can either go left or right. Right to Salima, which is where all the new buildings are. Left to Ranella Bay, which is where the older part of Malta is. Right in the middle is the walled city, which is where we are at the moment. There is an enormous amount to see when you get to Valletta and we only touch the surface on this uh, occasion when we were there we actually come back in a week or so which you'll see in the next episode this made us laugh we haven't seen a telephone box like that in the UK for years ours are actually being turned into libraries now it is possible to get from one bay go through Valletta all the way over to the other bay the newer bay Salima is where all of the chandleries tend to be Wooden, yeah, that one. Look at the one on the other side with the windows still in. Sorry, I can't get near yeah. that edge, but. It kind of doesn't look real. It looks like it's not out. that yeah, one there as well. Yeah, I love that colour. I'd love a boat that colour. What, that colour? Yeah. Not that colour. The next one along. It's more green. Oh, right. Okay. Greeny. I doubt if they are just Christmas lights, darling.
I'm a brown. <laughs> yes, you are brown. That's why I'm filming you. Why? Because so, I can't believe how brown you are. What, because I'm the brownest I've ever been? Yeah, okay, I don't need to see that. Hey! No, 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 I don't. Yeah, no, but it helps to... No, I don't, because I can't use that footage, can I? Oh. You might as well have. Simon. Simon? Cowl. Just a bit rolly here. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Jumped straight in. You're very good. Right, what are you doing then? Well, it's a good system, but I'm not used to it. So we've got a system with, we've got this thing, okay? What's so we, this thing? Well, I don't know what it's called, but you don't have a conventional halyard on the, on the Genoa. Yeah. Where you end up having to coil it all up and leave it, because the most of the time, the halyard just yep. only comes off once a year when you take the tail down. So this is a system that Harry put on that where you don't have a halyard, you just attach it to this and you crank it down and it adjusts and then you okay. take this bit off and then it's all good. But when you want to remove the sail, you have to attach this sacrificial line. And it's also obviously got to go through the yeah the sail so now what I've got to do is put the other end of this one yeah well, what I'm going to do is put the other end of this one put a little so it's a bit of faffing around but it's not something you do very often so a, you don't get used so that goes on there and with that round the winch you can take pressure on that and undo that core of a turn oh which then releases it and it will yeah. start to go so up and you'll start to lose the mousing line is this is just uh, you're just going to use this as a mousing line then so as we can obviously get it back down again oh where are you Luckily, I've got feet like a baboon. Yeah. So that's around there. So now if I put that around there. This is all because our um, Genoa keeps getting stuck out when it's pulled right out. So um, we need to get the, we need to take the do you know we're down? I need to put some mass steps on. And we need to take the Genoa down. Alright, so I'll turn that half a turn like oh, that. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now I can release the tension so the thing moves up. Yeah. So now I can remove the bottom one. Completely. 
let that go up and remove the top one. That is definitely because if you lose that in the mast, where you won't lose it in the mast, will you? Oh, I'm going to put a bit of tape around it. Yeah. You shouldn't need to, but I'm going to put a bit of tape around it just because. Yeah. I know because I was saying the uh, the bobbin keeps getting stuck at the top we of the... We think that's the problem. I've looked at the bottom <laughs> bit and that seems to run quite freely and the jammed bit seems to be the bobbin at the top. It did correct itself when we had a massive thunder and rainstorm in Syracuse. It sorted itself out for a couple of days but um, I need to know whether it's just grit and dirt in there or whether the, some of the balls are missing or what the situation is because at the moment when it jams it's horrible yeah a lot of extreme extreme hard work and swearing happens and, I, and, and i'm not one for swearing no as we knew as we heard in the last episode hey all right
I say. I think for the lack of faffing around, a conventional halyard just tied off down there. What would have been easier? Oh god yeah. I think this is a bit of a gimmick. Right, um, yeah, but you get you've got rid of line down okay, here, haven't you? Thing. And, the major and for the for the majority of the time, it's not an issue. Yeah. Right now, because of the click a bit. Uh -oh. You clicking? Yeah. So then you decide how much tension you need on it. Gus? No, I don't want to do it that way because of the camera. Yeah? It's in the case, okay, so I've got the windows open, I've got to be a bit careful. <laughs> Natter! After that. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget you can subscribe, like, share and we love to read your comments. Look forward to see you in a couple of weeks when we revisit Valletta and we take you over to Camino Island to see the sea caves. Wow and they are fantastic. <laughs>